Hey, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, today we are going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to conduct an investigation, a proper one, because there is something going on in my house. I'm really... The TV just turned on. There is no one in my house, and that TV is just turned on. That is weird, that is weird, that is weird. Uh, uh, the TV is just turned on. I don't know how, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I really don't want to label it as paranormal activity, but little things like that are really starting to mess with my mind. Um, those of you who don't know, I uploaded the other day just talking about some weird stuff that's happened in my house. There's a link to the video uh, here, I'll put a card up or something. Go and watch it, you'll understand what's going on. Um, yeah, I, last night, I had the worst night's sleep of my life. I streamed till quite late, I'm cracking stream, thank you to everyone who's there. Uh, and I decided to try and relax, that's all, a couple of glasses of wine. Um, and I, I was struck by inspiration last night. I had this idea, Piglata. Uh, basically, my three guinea pigs compete against each other in like a face-off for mental and physical dominance to see who's the smartest, the fastest and so on. The winner will be crowned Piglata. Um, so I was enthusiastic about that last night. I was thinking about the assault course I'm going to set up and stuff. A uh, few glasses of wine. Uh, went to bed proper late, about 2, 2.30 in the morning. Really, really tired. Thought I'd drop right off. I literally got no sleep last night. First of all, uh, my computer went off, um, but that was explainable. Some little, someone very cleverly had put a donation through on the Streamlabs at like half past three in the morning. Okay, that's okay, that's just someone. It's okay, it was just a delivery, but you see how uneasy I am. Um, yeah, so last night, someone put through a donation um, after the stream. It was like three o'clock in the morning. My computer suddenly blared out downstairs, like, it's a yeah! And then this white noise static came on. I crapped myself. I ran downstairs, uh, but someone very cleverly had put through a late night donation to try and crack me up. And it worked, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyway, I went back up to bed and I literally could not sleep all night long. I felt so uneasy. There were just little noises that I couldn't explain. Um, and you know when you're trying to sleep, it's like three, and it's four, and it's five in the morning, you're thinking, oh, I've got to get up in a bit. And then you're thinking, oh, just get up and like, find out what's going on, investigate it. And then you think, oh, I'll oh, just try and sleep, just try and sleep. But I was caught in that vicious trap. Anyway, I woke up this morning, um, very little sleep. I came downstairs to feed the guinea pigs, and uh, I'm just going to show you because it, it, it's weird. This is what I woke to on my back doorstep this morning. Stepped out the door, came out to feed the guinea pigs and nearly stepped on it. Bread knives, the ones that have been missing. That is what I came out to this morning. The two of the missing bread knives, like that, just on my back doorstep. I, I do not know how they've got out there. First of all, I haven't seen them for a couple of weeks, they've been missing. Second of all, like my bedroom is above the back door and I was awake literally all night. I didn't fall asleep until it started getting light this morning. So if it's someone messing with me, uh, they've literally broken into my garden in the early hours of the morning when it's actually getting light, and they've managed to do it beneath my window without me hearing when I'm lying up there, like hyper alert to bloody everything. It doesn't make sense. Of course, how are they getting into my garden? Like, yeah, you could probably climb over a wall or fence if you tried, like you were really determined, but there's no way you could do it silently. And there's literally no signs. I've got like bamboo fencing and stuff up at the back. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I am, as I'm sitting here, I'm hearing this Christian neighbour that I've got at the back of me, who's a bit mental, mental, chicken oriental. She literally prays, shouting to God for hours at a time. And part of me thinks it might be her messing with me. She doesn't like anyone in our road, like my ne ne next door neighbour actually lives next to me. Her daughter was out singing the other day. Christian lady went mental, mental, chicken oriental, started shouting at her. And then apparently my neighbour was telling me she's been chucking used sanitary towels into their garden. I don't know, but that still means that she somehow got into my house, stolen the knives, kept them for a couple of weeks, and then placed them out there. Like, that doesn't really make me feel any better. I don't know. I don't know. But there were noises in my attic, in my house, last night. I'm sure of it. And the bloody thing was missing the other day. So that is where we're going to properly start the investigation. I'm going to get properly up there and inspect it, because the houses are attached. I don't know. Maybe someone has somehow got into one of the lofts and, like... They're, they're uh, going between all of them or something. Someone's living up there, some kind of homeless person. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're going to check it out. I did this morning, first thing, go and buy a carbon monoxide tester. Some people have been telling me I might be sleepwalking or something. Um, I've got two of them now. They're both set up. 
a bit like smoke alarms. Neither of them are going off, so I don't think we can put it down to that. But yeah, I don't know. Let's get up in the attic anyway. Let's let's find out what's going on. Right, I've got the lid off the loft and we're about to go up. Um, I've got my phone on me this time that I can use with a torch feature. Um, I thought I was a little bit worried about this because someone did say, or a couple of people said in my stream, that they'd watched my video back last time I went up here and there was something suspicious at like 5 minutes 15. I've reviewed the footage and I can find nothing. Um, but here we are, right? A up. This is my loft. If there's someone in here, will you please just make yourself known? I'm not going to hurt you. Um, I just, you just can't be up in my house. Right, we've got a wall there. That looks intact. Hold up, let me get up here properly. We're going to find out, right? Um, let's shine it everywhere, get proper footage. I can't see right back there. Right, I'm going to have to get in here. I mean, now would be a great time to make yourself known if you are up here, because if you shock me, uh, I am going to smash you. I'm not going to lie to you. Right. There's nothing, right? No one could be that side. That is literally too small, and I can see right into there. No one can be there. It's literally up the back there that I can't get in and see. Right, hold up. I'm climbing in. All right, here we go. No, it's empty. It's empty. It is empty. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, we've checked it. I so hot up there. I was up there less than five minutes and I'm sweating. Why is it so hot? That makes me slightly suspicious, although I guess heat rises. But it's only the morning and it's a pretty miserable day outside. Uh, it's pretty grey, heating's not on or anything, and it's boiling up in my loft. Um, well, I don't know whether I feel better or worse. There's definitely not someone up there. There's no way someone's crawling between the houses or anything. That was my biggest worry in terms of intruder in. Like, uh, that the walls had crumbled between the houses and that maybe someone had got in another house and was just crawling between the lofts and living. Um, but I've checked, like, the walls in there are all intact. There's no one up there. Um, well, at least not now. Uh, so I just don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Like, I would... I think I'd almost rather that I'd found signs of someone up there or something. At least then I'd have an explanation for it. It's freaking me out some of the stuff that's going on. Just little things, like the TV turning on then. Uh, I mean, it happens when it's paused and stuff. If you leave it paused, eventually it will start playing and stuff. But the TV was off. I haven't had it on all morning. I haven't put it on since I woke up. Why is it suddenly turning on? Uh, maybe there's an explanation for it. I just don't know it. I'm terrible with technology. Um, I've got a Toshiba telly and I've got Virgin Bloody Media. Is there any reason why it would suddenly turn itself on? It doesn't do that normally. Uh, if it's paused, yeah, it might start playing. But not just turn itself on. Both the TV and the box must have come on then. That's weird. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and I'm going to inspect for signs that someone might have come in through the back, I think. Uh, double check that because... I mean, that's the only other thing that I can think of, that it is that crazy Christian lady um, who rants. Can you hear that? She's really going off on one this morning. Maybe it is her. The way she's shouting so much, like... Maybe that makes sense, like, she's a bit kind of, um, what do you call it when someone... Christ, like, she seems to be cycling up, she's very frantic, maybe that's it, maybe she is, this is like a sign that she's the one breaking in, she sounds frantic this morning. Um, I don't know, right, let's get out into the alleyway and check if there's any signs that she's been coming over the fence or something. Alright, we're just going down the alleyway behind my house to check for signs of someone climbing over the fence, intrusion, that kind of thing. Um, even, in an even worse mood now, uh, just got a text from uh, the lady that I hooked up with the other night, my friend. Um, hopefully, well, we were maybe going to be meeting for coffee today. Unfortunately, she's busy at work and can't make it. So, yeah, I'm not in a great mood now. 
Right, can you hear the neighbour going mental? We're really close now. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see at like, the back of my house and maybe we'll get a glimpse of her. Uh, the alleyway is disused. It's like totally blocked off this side. Uh, that's the back of my garden. I've put like bamboo fencing up and stuff. I mean, that stuff bends. If someone had been going over that, I'd know about it. Um, I guess you could get in past the bamboo fencing uh, over the hedge, but you'd think there'd be some kind of sign that someone had been going in there. I mean, let's have a look. Like, I mean, obvious signs I'll be looking for would be footprints or an item or something for my house. I'm certainly not seeing anything that obvious. Uh, or even just signs of disturbance in like the the bushes here, stinging nettles and stuff like they would be folded over you'd think. I mean I guess you could stand in there without but something you'd think there'd be snaps or there'd be a sign that someone had been in here this way. I would have thought unless they can get in the other way. I've never been up that way. Let's go in up the other end of the alleyway and just check is you're not able to get down my house from there. No, I mean, they can't be coming this way. It's totally blocked off way before you get to my house. Uh, literally, no explanation. Oh, it's annoying, I just want to know. Um, okay, let's go back home and put our thinking caps on again. I'm back in my garden now. Uh, she has gone quiet. I don't know whether she saw or heard me out in the alleyway. Um, I, I'm annoyed. I really wanted to get some kind of conclusive answer today because last night was terrible not being able to sleep and stuff. Um, I don't know, conclusions we can draw from it. Um, I don't think there's someone living in my attic. There's no way to get in there from within the attic. Um, so I don't think it's that. Um, I, I thought maybe it could be my sister messing with me, but last night and the last few nights, I've locked the front door, chained it, and I've locked the back door and left the key in it. So there's no way she could be getting into my house overnight. Although, actually, I suppose she wouldn't have needed to get into my house last night. She could have taken the knives at an earlier date and just put them up out there to freak me out. Um, I don't know. It seems like a lot of effort for my sister, though. Uh, she's inherently lazy. So, But maybe, maybe it could be that. But that doesn't explain some of the other stuff, like the attic being opened. There was no way she'd been in the house that day. Uh, the bang that I heard when I was live streaming, a cupboard just shut in. Um, and the TV turning on. I mean, that one, I'm less suspicious of. It could be some kind of glitch, electrical thing. But I don't know why both the TV and the Virgin is turning itself on. That's never happened before. I tell you, if anyone has got any ideas, if anyone knows about paranormal stuff, if anyone just has got any ideas, leave them in the comments because I do want to know. Um, I'm feeling a bit better, actually. On the walk around, I had two messages that have cheered me right up today. Uh, the first one was from the people who've been sorting out my merch. Apparently, you guys have bought almost all of it. That's incredible. Like, I cannot thank you enough. That's amazing. Um, there's a few bits left if you do want to get one and look like this. Um, there's a link down below, but don't feel like you know to go and buy any, you know, no need if you don't want to. It's only if you want it. You know, you guys support me massively as it is. Uh, and the second message that I got, which is, you know, equally as good, uh, was from the lady. Uh, just apologising again for not being able to meet up today, but saying, do you want to go out on Sunday? Are you free? We could go out for lunch or something. Oh, lunch is better than a bloody coffee. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I was doubting myself. You give them the good stuff. Of course they're going to want to come back. Um, no, that makes me sound big-headed. Like I'm getting ahead of myself. Um just fingers crossed because she is awesome yeah so that's happening sunday i'm gonna go and prepare myself for that now i kind of feel like the other night was unexpected there wasn't much expected of me uh, but i need to be prepared i've got waxing strips left over from that video while i wax my legs i might even do a full you know back sack and crack if she was impressed before it's gonna look even bigger now um although that might be painful i don't know has anyone done that the, the women like the old back sack and crack waxing I might do it. I might do it. Anyway, I'm going to go and prepare myself and get ready for Sunday. I'm excited. Yeah. Right. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. Um, just want to know your honest opinions. In terms of the situation, I don't know where we're going to go from here. I'm going to order a trail cam, I think, to put in my garden at the back door to see if there is someone coming in or not. Um, I'm going to try setting up my webcam to record all night facing the kitchen door and the dining room inside just to see if there's any movement there. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of where we are with it at the moment. Um, I'm not really happy with this resolution, um, and I still feel uneasy, but yeah, what can you do? All right. Thank you very much for watching.